Hello all. I've been uh, reading about a, a new cloud OS based on Linux. It's called Jolie OS. And here's a logon screen. I have this installed in VirtualBox inside Ubuntu. And you can either log in as a guest, which uh, none of your files will be saved or anything, but just for quick access. Or you can log in as uh, the user that you create when you install it. So I'm going to log in. And when you sign in, um, let's give it a second. See this little cloud thing here. And there we go. So when you sign in, it presents you with a desktop of uh, internet based applications. Some of these are, have been uh, pre-installed by the system itself. Some I've added. Um, you have uh, probably four desktops, I guess, um, depending how much you can, uh, how much you install. Uh, but these are movable. You move them around. Uh, you can drag something like this onto part. Well, yeah, there's a second desktop. There's a third desktop. Okay, so three so far anyway. And there it is there. And I go back to first desktop. And uh, what's neat about this, obviously, it'll run on a, a netbook or a laptop or op a computer if you wanted to or inside a virtual machine. And you can add all kinds of applications uh, by clicking on this big plus sign here. And it's loading. There it goes. So some stuff like Skype you can add, and you can do a search. There's all kinds of different uh, categories. Um, you can add in your Dropbox. There's a uh, for uh, storage. There's another um, Windows. Uh, I forget the name of it now. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, Sky Sky Drive. Uh, I'm not sure about other ones. So there's a, there is another one, Box something. Um, so if you want to look for an application, say if I wanted A Drive, I'm not sure if that's in here. No results. Okay, that's fine. Um, but um, so anyway, this is your browser. Uh, and again, I'll, I'm going to do one more search to see if we can install Firefox. Yes, you can. Uh, four. Uh, okay. It's, oh, yeah. Four, I guess. I'm not sure. I wish they'd... Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't uh, done a lot of experimenting with this yet. But, um, obviously, you can install Firefox anyway. So, it doesn't matter. It comes with uh, Chromium. And uh, you can import your account. And I'll go full screen. So it's a little better here. You can import your uh, other accounts from Google Chrome by using the uh, set um, preferences and sync and stuff. And when you have this open, if you look up here beside the little cloud, it shows the icon. You just select that and it'll minimize. And you can open your Gmail. It logs you in. YouTube and that will log you in and you can minimize that uh, Google Reader and I think you get the idea um, everything is cloud based uh, that's running so um, I'll go back to full uh, just normal screen and when you click this obviously it's the shut down log out so I'm going to shut down Wait for this to finish. Closing. It doesn't matter. It'll close on its own. I'll open uh, Chrome, Chrome, Chrome <laughs> Chromium um, inside uh, my regular installation and go to the cloud. There it is there. Jolie Cloud. And you can use Facebook to sign in with. And 
Oh, there it is. Log in with Facebook. Log in. And what's really neat is what I just showed you as desktop is right here in the browser. It's exactly what I just had running. And down here, um, a ton of wallpapers you can uh, configure or put in. And you can add your own, I'm sure. So, yeah. Um, so you go to your Google Docs inside that. So basically, if this is an old, like a, you know, we've seen this before, an OS with uh, within a browser. Um, what's this here? Okay, that's like a social thing. And you can link to your Dropbox and, and information about yourself. <laughs> and you can add stuff. I'm not sure if you can add it through, uh, yeah, maybe you can. But I haven't tried that out yet. But I thought it was interesting because you can, uh, you have the operating system, and then it's if you have you're not at your computer or, or whatever you're using, uh, and if you have access to a web browser, uh, you can log in and do your stuff that you would normally do, that you do in the cloud and stuff. So uh, when you hit this, it just logs you out, and that's it, and that's all you have to do. And uh, you can install it on it, like I said, on a, on your regular computer in a virtual machine, a netbook, or, or whatever you wish. And uh, it's uh, it's not using that much. Um, I think about two gigs of space so far. I allocated eight gigs, but and I gave it one meg of RAM. I mean, one gig of RAM. Uh, it doesn't didn't like the 3D acceleration or anything, so I don't know. If that's virtual box or it seemed to work okay. YouTube and stuff worked absolutely fine. So yeah, um, just a look into uh, what may be with uh, Chrome OS or maybe this is you know maybe this is something better. I don't know. So uh, maybe you can give it a shot if, if you're interested, and definitely you can log into their site and uh, create an account you can log in with your Facebook as it says or you can create a new account and then later you decide to try the operating system um, you already have your account set up so yeah it's pretty neat okay uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, bye for now